Imagine stumbling upon something so unsettling, so unexpected, that it sends shivers down your spine. That's precisely what these archaeologists and explorers found. The most bizarre findings. From nightmarish cosmic phenomena to mysterious carvings, here are the 20 strangest things recently discovered. Number 20. The Mysterious Dark Flow If there's one thing that's horrifying, it's our universe. If you need a reason to be horrified about the vast cosmos, here's one. Recently, researchers discovered something called the Dark Flow. And while it's not as sinister as the phenomena in dystopian sci-fi movies, it's still terrifying. Now imagine galaxies, those massive star-filled cities of the universe, moving in unison towards a single point in the sky. This intriguing movement, spanning billions of light years, is what scientists call the Dark Flow. Using data from NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, scientists have observed that certain galaxy clusters are not just drifting apart due to the universe's expansion. Instead, they're also moving collectively in a specific direction. Now, this is quite a baffling discovery. But what's so terrifying about this discovery? It's not just the scale of this movement, spanning billions of light years, but the implication that something beyond our observable universe, something immensely powerful, is exerting its influence over these colossal structures. This phenomena revealed through subtle shifts in the cosmic microwave background, the ancient afterglow of the Big Bang, suggests a force or presence lurking in the shadows of space-time. Could this be evidence of other universes? Unknown dimensions? Or unseen forces that challenge the very fabric of our current understanding? This goes to show that we have much to learn about our universe. And you know what they say about the unknown. It instills fear. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. 1,000-year-old mummified monk. This case just might change the way you see statues from now on. Scientists have discovered a monk mummified right inside an ancient Buddha statue, and it's been there for an entire millennium. This ancient Buddha statue dates back to the 11th or 12th century. Meanwhile, the mummified remains allegedly belong to a Buddhist monk, later identified as Liu Quan, from the Chinese Meditation School. A medical examination of the statue, involving a full-body CT scan and endoscopy at the Meander Medical Center in Amersfoort, revealed fascinating details that might give away how the monk's body remained well-preserved. The monk's organs had been removed and replaced with scraps of paper covered in ancient Chinese characters, a method consistent with certain mummification practices. This careful preservation indicates the cultural and religious importance of the monk during his time. While this might be horrifying, this practice isn't something new. You see, the practice of self-mummification was a rigorous and disciplined process undertaken by monks in their quest to achieve a form of spiritual enlightenment. Monks adhered to a strict diet and lifestyle, gradually leading to the body's starvation, and were eventually buried alive in underground chambers. The mummification process was seen as a path to becoming a revered living Buddha and was practiced in several parts of Asia, including Japan and China. In certain Buddhist traditions, mummified monks are not considered dead but are believed to be in a deep meditative state known as Tukdan. This cultural perspective views the mummified individuals as having reached a high spiritual status, which is why the discovery of Liu Quan is particularly significant. However, this has been the only case of a mummy ever found inside a Buddha statue. Number 18. The Well to Hell The name of this place is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine, but seeing this well in person would definitely be more horrifying. This is the Well of Barhut. It measures about 98 feet wide at its circular entrance and plunges 367 feet deep into the earth. The sinkhole widens to almost 400 feet at the base, and features two rock layers with waterfalls, each measuring 150 feet in height. This horrifying pit was first thoroughly explored by the Oman Cave Exploration Team in September 2021. The explorers found stalagmites, gray and lime green cave pearls formed by dripping water, snakes, dead animals, and waterfalls within the cave. Locally, the well is shrouded in mystery and superstition. It's often associated with jinn or genies, and there are beliefs that objects near the hole can be sucked into it. Some residents even think it's bad luck to talk about the well. This has contributed to the horrifying reputation surrounding it for centuries. Despite the exploration, some mysteries about the well of hell remain. 
The exact process of its formation is still a topic of debate among scientists. Number 17. Metal Needle in an 80-Year-Old's Brain The human body is astounding. It can survive and endure the most unimaginable conditions. Sometimes, this leads to people not knowing there's something wrong with their bodies. Take, for example, the case of an 80-year-old woman from Russia who lived with a 3-centimeter-long metal needle embedded in her brain for the majority of her life. The needle was only discovered after a CT scan. The woman, from the country's Sakhalin region, was found to be living with the needle lodged in the left side of her brain, specifically the parietal lobe. The presence of the needle in her brain since birth suggests a harrowing backstory. During the famine years of World War II, it was not uncommon for desperate parents in the Soviet Union to resort to claiming the lives of their own children due to extreme poverty. One method used was inserting a thin needle into a baby's fontanelle, the soft spot on the head where the skull is not yet fully formed. This would cause brain damage, leading to the infant's death, while the quickly closing fontanelle would hide any trace of the act. In this woman's case, it's believed that her parents may have attempted such an unempathetic act. Remarkably, not only did she survive this, but she also lived without any significant health issues attributable to the needle. Throughout her life, she never complained of headaches or other symptoms usually associated with brain injuries. The discovery of the needle was a complete surprise, as there were no apparent signs of its presence. Doctors have decided against surgical removal of the needle, considering the woman's advanced age and the potential risks involved. They concluded that the needle does not pose a threat to her health, and she'll continue to be monitored by her physician. Number 16. A Mysterious Safe Now, a safe is something you might be delighted to see. Most of the time, it contains something valuable, but perhaps not this one. In the small town of Bar, New York, a farmer named Kirk Mathis discovered a large mysterious safe in one of his fields. This peculiar find quickly garnered significant attention. The safe, estimated to weigh between 500 to 600 pounds, was accompanied by a note that read, If you can open it, you can keep what's inside. Despite the intrigue and numerous attempts by locals to open the safe, including using sledgehammers and other forceful methods, the safe remained locked. Mathis, who was out of town when the safe was found, decided against recovering its contents. He expressed a desire to leave it as a mystery, believing it provided a welcome distraction for people during challenging times marked by the pandemic and political unrest. The debate and speculation surrounding the safe's contents became a source of fascination and fun for the community. Interestingly, the safe was identified as an old model manufactured by the Carry Safe Company, which was in business from 1878 to 1929. The safe had the name Woods and Vic on it, but no further information about this company could be found. Currently, the safe is kept in one of Mathis' barns. There are plans to potentially feature it in a future planned history museum in Bar, turning it into a local attraction and preserving its mystery. Number 15. Indian man hasn't cut or washed his hair for 40 years. Sakaldeb Tudu, a 63-year-old man from the Munger district in Bihar, India, has garnered attention for his unique hair care routine, or lack thereof. For over 40 years, Tudu hasn't washed or cut his hair, resulting in six-foot-long dreadlocks. He refers to his hair as a blessing from God. According to Tudu, his hair spontaneously wove itself into dreadlocks one night 40 years ago, a transformation he interpreted as a divine sign. In his community, Tudu is known as Mahatma Ji, a term of respect. He's not only recognized for his distinctive hair, but also for his role as a healer. Tudu, who previously worked in the forest department for 31 years, now provides homemade treatments for childless couples and is considered to have healing powers. Despite the attention his hair brings, Tudu remains a humble figure in his community. His family, including his wife, Rupia Devi, their three sons, three daughters, and seven grandchildren support his decision. To his credit, Tudu tries to keep his hair clean by wrapping it in a white cloth, especially when he goes out to prevent it from trailing on the ground. The longest I could go without washing or maintaining my hair would be several days, a week if I was incapacitated. But otherwise, well, I wouldn't last more than a week. So kudos to Tudu. Number 14. The Great Attractor Now here's another scary space find, The Great Attractor. Imagine you're in a huge cosmic game of tug of war. On one side, there's this massive mysterious thing in space called The Great Attractor. It's like the strongest kid on the playground, pulling a bunch of galaxies toward it. 
including our own Milky Way. This thing is so big and so strong that it affects galaxies over hundreds of millions of light years. Now here's where it gets even more wild. The Great Attractor is part of something even bigger called the Leniakea Supercluster, which is like a giant family of over 100,000 galaxies, including ours. Think of it as a massive neighborhood in space, with the Great Attractor being one of the main attractions. But what's really intriguing is that we're not even sure what the Great Attractor actually is. It's hiding in a spot in space that's super hard to see because of all the dust, gas, and stars in our galaxy. It's like trying to look through a foggy window. Despite this, thanks to some cool advancements in space technology, scientists are starting to see what's happening there. Earlier, scientists thought the Great Attractor was like the Hulk of space, super massive. But recent studies suggest it might not be as big as we thought. There's an even bigger player in the game, the Shapley Supercluster. This thing is a beast, made up of over 8,000 galaxies and way heavier than the Great Attractor. As catastrophic as this sounds, we don't need to worry about bumping into either of these cosmic giants. Because of something called dark energy, the universe is expanding, so it's unlikely our galaxy will ever crash into the Great Attractor or the Shapley Supercluster. It's like they're on a moving sidewalk going the opposite way. Number 13. Bizarre Incident with Fish in Fisherman's Throat In a rather unusual and rather harrowing incident, an Egyptian fisherman experienced a life-threatening situation when a live fish became lodged in his throat. The 40-year-old fisherman was near the brink of suffocation when he was brought to the Beni Suef Specialized Hospital. The fish, which had become stuck at the entrance of his windpipe, left just enough space to allow a small amount of air to pass through, which was crucial in keeping him alive until he reached the hospital. The bizarre accident occurred when the fisherman, in an attempt to catch a second fish, placed the first one in his mouth to free his hands. Unfortunately, the live fish slipped from his bite and got stuck in his throat. The medical team, led by an ear, nose, and throat specialist, performed an endoscopic surgery to safely remove the fish, which was still alive. Thanks to the timely and successful operation, the fisherman was placed in intensive care for observation, but luckily recovered. Number 12. A scary hum plaguing a village. Imagine living in a quiet village where life is peaceful and the days roll by gently. Then one day, you start hearing a low, persistent hum. It's not just any hum, but one that seems to pulse through the air, invading your home and your peace of mind. This is exactly what's happening in Homefield, a small village in West Yorkshire, UK. The residents here have been grappling with a baffling and relentless noise dubbed the Homefield Hum. Residents who hear the hum liken it to the whir of a washing machine or the steady idling of a diesel engine. This noise has been impacting the locals' health, disturbing their sleep, and causing headaches. What makes it more unsettling is no one knows where it's coming from. In this instance, the notorious hum might stem from industrial activity audible to select individuals, or perhaps something as ordinary as water flowing through pipelines, a transformer, or a telegraph pole. Despite efforts by the local council to unravel this auditory mystery, the source of the hum remains elusive. It's a puzzle wrapped in the everyday sounds of a mixed residential and commercial area, making it even harder to pinpoint the cause. Number 11. Huge Mega Comet Incoming Imagine gazing up into the night sky and knowing that somewhere in the vast expanse of space, a cosmic giant is approaching our solar system. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie but the reality of an enormous comet, known as C-2014-UN-271, or simply Bernardinelli-Bernstein, that's currently journeying towards us. Initially mistaken for a dwarf planet due to its staggering size, this megacomet has stirred up both awe and a twinge of apprehension. It's not every day that an object estimated to be between 100 and 370 kilometers across graces our solar system. Astronomers Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein, who discovered this celestial wanderer, have given us a rare opportunity to witness an object from the distant Oort cloud, a region at the very edges of our solar system, believed to be filled with icy relics from the dawn of time. But before you start envisioning apocalyptic scenarios, it's crucial to put things into perspective. The closest this megacomet will come to the Sun is just outside Saturn's orbit. That's over a billion kilometers away from Earth. So while it's a significant event in astronomical terms, there's no threat of a collision with our planet. Number 10. Milky Way and Andromeda Collision 
Now, here's another phenomena that sounds straight out of an apocalyptic movie. Did you know that our own galaxy is set to collide with another galaxy named Andromeda? But don't worry, as this event is set to occur billions of years from now. Andromeda, also known as M31, is currently on a collision course with the Milky Way. It's hurtling towards us at a speed of about 250,000 miles per hour. Again, while this might sound alarming, the actual event is a slow match over billions of years with the initial contact predicted to happen around 4 billion years from now. The vast distances between individual stars within each galaxy means that star collisions are highly unlikely during this galactic merger. Over time, the Milky Way and Andromeda are expected to merge into a single elliptical galaxy. This transformation will see a mixing of stars, gas, and dust from both galaxies. Despite the dramatic nature of such a galactic merger, it's important to note that this event poses no threat to Earth or our solar system. The vastness of space ensures that our planet, and indeed our entire solar system, will likely remain unscathed, though possibly relocated to a different part of the resulting galaxy. Ultimately, this is all irrelevant because surely when this happens, we'll be long dead. Number 9. Mosaic of Medusa In the ruins of a Roman domus in the La Huerta de Otero archaeological zone, Archaeologists have uncovered a large mosaic, a stunning artifact of ancient artistry measuring about 30 square meters. The central figure in this mosaic is none other than Medusa, the infamous character from Greek mythology, known for her serpent hair and gaze that could turn onlookers to stone. You see, in the past, Medusa's image, often used as a symbol of protection in the ancient Greek and Roman worlds, was believed to ward off evil. This belief is reflected in the mosaic's placement in the main room of the Domus, suggesting it served a protective purpose for the inhabitants. This particular mosaic is adorned with intricate patterns, including peacocks representing the four seasons and various geometric, floral, and animal motifs, showcasing the remarkable artistry of the era. The discovery of this mosaic, along with a section of the Roman city's defensive wall and remnants of an ancient road, enriches our understanding of the historical and architectural landscape of the region. Number 8. 7,000-year-old grave filled with headless skeletons In the fields of Slovakia, archaeologists have unearthed a 7,000-year-old mass grave in the Vrabla settlement, revealing an unusual pattern of burial. Almost all of the 38 skeletons found were without their heads, including their lower jaws. Naturally, this intriguing find has sparked a series of questions and theories among experts. The primary query revolves around the missing heads. Were these individuals victims of inhumane acts, perhaps decapitations, or were their heads carefully removed as part of a ritualistic practice? Some skeletons show signs that suggest a more meticulous removal of the head rather than a violent act. However, these are initial observations that need further exploration. Currently, we still lack information about how these people perished. Number 7. Juanita Juanita, also known as the Ice Maiden, is a fascinating and significant archaeological find that has provided a wealth of knowledge about the Inca civilization. Discovered in 1995 by anthropologist Johann Reinhardt and his team near the summit of Mount Ampato in southern Peru, Juanita's well-preserved remains have been a source of intrigue and insight. Juanita is believed to have been a young Inca girl, about 12 to 15 years old, who lived over 500 years ago. Her discovery was monumental because her body was naturally mummified in the ice, preserving her and her garments in incredible detail. The state of preservation has allowed researchers to gain a deeper understanding of the Inca culture, including their practices, beliefs, and daily life. One of the most significant aspects of Juanita's discovery is what it reveals about the Capacocha ritual. This was a practice where children of incredible beauty and health were selected for sacrifices to the Inca gods. The children were taken to high mountain peaks for this purpose, and it's believed that Juanita was one such sacrifice. The artifacts found with her, including elaborate clothing and ceremonial items, support this theory. Number 6. A Germanic Cult In Saxony-Anhalt, Germany, Archaeologists have made a remarkable discovery, a 1,500-year-old tomb believed to belong to a Germanic lord. This ancient burial complex is particularly striking due to its unusual arrangement. At the heart of the tomb lies a bronze cauldron, around which are the remains of six women, placed as if radiating out from the cauldron like the hands of a clock. The site, dating back to around 480 AD, 
was uncovered quite unexpectedly during the construction of a chicken farm. This period coincides with the fall of the Roman Empire and the migration of Germanic tribes into former Roman territories. The arrangement of the female remains is unique for Europe and is thought to have held significant symbolic meaning. In addition to the women, the extravagant tomb contains the remains of numerous animals, including cattle, dogs, and 11 horses, as well as valuable gold and silver artifacts. The discovery of these items suggests that the person to whom the tomb was dedicated was of high status. The identities of the six women and the reasons for their burial in this manner are still shrouded in mystery. Theories suggest that they could have been wives, concubines, or devotees of the deceased lord, and may have been part of a ritual sacrifice or a death cult. Number 5. 2,600-Year-Old Brain You're looking at a brain that's 2,600 years old. This is the Heslington Brain, a remarkable 2,600-year-old discovery that has baffled and intrigued scientists. Discovered near York in the UK, this ancient brain, encased in a skull dating from around 673 to 482 BC, presents a unique and incredibly well-preserved glimpse into Iron Age Britain. The story of the Heslington brain begins in 2008 during an archaeological excavation in Heslington. The brain belonged to a man, likely in his mid-30s, who met a traumatic end. His death, likely by hanging, led to a complete fracture of his spine. What followed was a peculiar post-mortem ritual. His head was precisely severed, almost surgically, with a thin bladed knife. This macabre practice, as grim as it may sound, played a crucial role in preserving his brain. Typically, human brains deteriorate rapidly after death, primarily due to their high fat content. But the Heslington brain defied all odds. When researchers found it, the brain had shrunk to about 20% of its original size. Yet many anatomical features were astonishingly still identifiable. But how did this brain survive the ravages of time? The secret lies in its burial conditions and the chemical changes that ensued. Buried in waterlogged anoxic soil, the brain underwent unusual chemical transformations. Remarkably, no adipocere, a fatty compound common in decaying tissue, was detected. This suggested that the head was severed before the brain began to decay, a crucial factor in its preservation. Recent studies have shed more light in this phenomena. However, there's still much to learn about this specimen. Number 4. Vampire Burials did you know that people in the past believed in vampires? So much so that many found the need to take precautions to make sure that the dead would remain, well, dead. In fact, vampire burials are found across different cultures and time periods, reflecting the widespread belief in the supernatural and the undead. In the 5th century AD, at the Cemetery of the Babies in Lugnano, Italy, archaeologists discovered a child's grave with a stone placed in the mouth. Poland, with its rich folklore, has numerous instances of vampire burials. For example, in the Dworsko Cemetery, dating to the 17th and 18th centuries, bodies were found with stones under their chins or sickles across their bodies, traditional methods to keep reanimated corpses contained. Another notable case is a 17th century burial in Pien, Poland, where the deceased had a padlock around the toe and a scythe positioned to sever the throat if the corpse rose. This particular burial was unique as it featured both a sickle and a padlock, and the individual appeared to have been of high social status. Other examples include a 16th century crypt burial in Prostijov, Slovakia, where the body had been buried in an iron reinforced coffin with stones on the legs and the torso severed from the legs, and a medieval skeleton in Lesbos, Greece found nailed down in its grave with heavy iron spikes through the neck, pelvis, and ankle. Luckily, We've stopped doing this practice today, and the existence of vampires is now only limited to fictional movies. Number 3. Black Sarcophagus Decades after the discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb, people continued to believe that the young king's chamber was cursed. And so, imagine the horror people felt when they uncovered a massive black sarcophagus in Egypt. In the bustling historic district of Sidi Geber, archaeologists stumbled upon an incredible find a massive black granite sarcophagus, the largest ever found in Alexandria, measuring an imposing six feet tall, eight and a half feet long, and five feet wide. This sarcophagus was shrouded in mystery. A layer of mortar between the lid and the body of the coffin suggested that it had remained unopened for over two millennia. This was a rare find indeed, in a city that treasure seekers had scoured for centuries. 
What could be inside this massive coffin? Speculations ran wild, with some even fearing an ancient curse would be unleashed upon opening it. But you know archaeologists. They fear no curses. After all, they believe in science. Despite the warnings of curses and the legends swirling around it, Egyptian archaeologists, accompanied by the anticipation of the world, pried open the sarcophagus. What they found inside was both fascinating and gruesome. Instead of the remains of an ancient ruler or cursed treasure, the sarcophagus contained the skeletons of three individuals believed to be soldiers from the early Ptolemaic period. The condition of the remains, disorganized and partly decomposed from sewage water infiltration, was a grim yet commonplace finding, particularly in the Egyptian necropolis. One of the skulls bore the mark of a forceful blow, suggesting a violent end. The discovery of the alabaster bust raised further questions. Who were these individuals? Why were they buried in such an elaborate sarcophagus? Were they of particular significance? Or was their burial a reflection of the beliefs and practices of their time? The skeletons were transferred to the National Museum of Alexandria for further study in hopes of unraveling these mysteries. As for the sarcophagus, it's being repaired and prepared for transport, possibly unveiling additional secrets as time unfolds. Number 2. Knife-Armed Man In northern Italy, archaeologists made a unique discovery in a medieval necropolis. A man from the 6th to 8th centuries who used a knife as a prosthetic limb. This man, after losing his right hand, adapted by attaching a knife to his amputated arm. This adaptation was ingenious for its time and shows how people coped with disabilities in the past. The evidence of this prosthetic knife comes from the man's skeleton. His arm showed signs of having been adapted to support a prosthetic device. Interestingly, his teeth were extremely worn on one side, likely from using them to adjust the straps of his prosthetic. This level of wear even caused a bacterial infection. Many find this discovery quite significant. After all, it demonstrates the resourcefulness and resilience of people in a medieval period. It also shows the support he must have received from his community as surviving such an amputation in that era would have required considerable care. And now it's time for today's topic. This discovery will give you nightmares. In a remote corner of the world, a discovery was made that sent shockwaves through the local community. A figure, half submerged in the water, was found by an unsuspecting individual, its form eerily reminiscent of the mythical mermaids from ancient lore. The creature appeared to be half fish and half human, and seemed to be caught in a moment of distress. The image quickly went viral, with people all over the world debating its authenticity and origins. Eyewitnesses claimed the creature didn't look like anything they'd seen before. However, conclusions about the creature's identity remain unfounded. Was this an elaborate hoax, a government cover-up, or evidence of a hidden underwater world that had remained undetected until now? Number 1. Mysterious Carvings and Evidence of Human Sacrifice Here's our final discovery. You must be familiar with the iconic Great Wall of China. Not far from this location, at a site known as Ximao, researchers discovered six pits, each filled with human skulls, about 80 in total. Ximao is an ancient city dating back over 4,000 years, and it was once a fortress crowned with a majestic steppe pyramid. Subsequent research revealed that the pits were filled with the remains of young women, possibly princesses or noblewomen from rival groups. This chilling discovery suggests that these women were sacrificed in a ritual, another grim reminder of ancient practices thousands of years ago. So which of these discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.